Welcome back, everybody, to the Embargo Show. We got our first episode Yo. of Stock Talk. Stock Talk. Yeah, Very excited yeah. about this one. This Super one I've been excited. looking forward to. We got right. Marcio. Marcio here. What's up? We've been um we've been in the stock market right when the market crashed. Yeah, as soon as Corona happened. Yeah, and yeah. because and we got lucky. We got extremely we got because we, we got just blessed, turned eighteen, bro. dude. T- just turned eighteen. Yep. The whole market went on Black Friday, bro. Yeah, we just literally bought up everything. By, we we're literally on Facetime and doing our first trades. Doing our first trades. First thing we bought, Spare Spare Airlines. Yep. yep. We we're literally watching it, and like every single time At it goes $8, up a second. Eight dollars. Yep. Every single time it goes up like five cents we're like let's fucking go <laughs> we we're, were like hyped. fucking flipping out we for five hyped. cents <laughs> we're like, like I we're just made the no yeah. the and then when it goes down we just keep buying more like if it goes nah, down like we one wasn't penny. we wasn't nice like that yet we were panicking like, yeah we were like we were we're fuck, I was buy neg- more i was negative 10 cents and i was <laughs> i was like damn i'm down bad by living it. yeah that's how it is when you're first in the market like once you're first in the market it's very like it's, it's nerve wracking. It honestly is because cause... you got to get used to it and use how the market operates. Because like red days are red days. Yeah, and you're you're <laughs> you're basically gambling. It's basically you're, gambling. It's like educated gambling. Yeah, I would say. exactly. Like, that's I, that's how you're I. You're just think like putting money towards something that you think is gonna grow. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it's not. You're not. Very rare cases you lose all of it. Yeah. No. You know it's extremely I mean? like, like rare. Like stock market crashes happen, mm-hmm. but just don't sell. Don't, don't sell just buy really more you're sell. about to be so yeah. much more up and you don't even know the only way you lose money in the stock market is if you sell right. personally i'm not going to tell everyone do this do that but for me i have been in the market a, a year ago yesterday yeah but um literally i haven't sold a single stock that whole time i haven't sold stock i haven't gained profit in anything but um i literally just held everything and now in one year, the average for this year, just because of how crazy it's been, fifteen yeah. percent mm-hmm. returns. Fifteen percent return. Worse. I'm up one hundred and seventy five percent. Yeah, bro's balling. You know and what I mean? Cat. See, he was patient with it. Don't do what I did. Yeah, I pulled. I pulled. Day trader right here. Day trader pulled, Dave over here. It is what it is. You live and you learn. Mm-hmm. Don't make that bread bag. Don't worry. That's right. what we do. Yep. Um, biggest thing for me was um, getting in to cryptocurrencies. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Listen, <laughs> You're so for cryptocurrencies, I'm a, I'm a huge believer of that. That's probably Dude, the thing. It's the yeah, it's the future. It's, it's the, I don't care what side you're on. It's a decentralized currency, bro. Like the government can't really put like their eyes on it. See what you're doing with that, bro. Yeah. No one really has a, hold. you control it. Exactly. It's a, it's, it's a your, controller it's of the holder. It's yes, exactly. And the, the government can't touch can't it, touch it can't do unless anything. they, unless they like, they're trying to regulate it now, yeah. but like it's still going to be pretty limited to yeah. so like what they could do, right? Because of what they Bitcoin just can't is and like all these coins. Yeah, it's, it's global kind of too. To stop. Exactly, you stop it's it here global. in America, people in Canada, mm-hmm. Brazil, all these other countries catch on too. Right, and you I'm, can't stop an idea. Exactly, exactly. And the thing is, I'm like I said, I'm not one to like tell you to go do this, but like go into the cryptocurrencies. No you're gonna regret you're it. Slacking this is gonna be a thing in crypto, ten years. No this like ten years ago, people said get in Bitcoin. In ten years, people are gonna say Bitcoin's now. about to be two hundred k by twenty twenty one. No cap. And by this is my this is math. This is actual math because every four years they have a halving, Yo. and exactly two two years after, no, like a year and a half. Yeah, we it goes up. I oh actually. my god, I forgot the I forgot the percentage. But what the percent with the percentage that I did in six years, it's gonna hit a million dollars. That's my prediction. And you heard it right here. We, you, heard it, you, you heard it right point, here. Point two of Bitcoin. Yep. That hits a million dollars. Yeah, point two. It's not point, two point two. Right? Let's let's do the math on that. No, I don't think any of us have a full share in a Bitcoin. Okay, let's say point zero two even. Point yeah, zero two. Point zero two. Times times what? A million, right? Yeah. Hold on. Math break. You already know. Twenty grand. Twenty grand. That's if you have point zero two. That's yep. like just keep putting money every paycheck in, not even big amounts, like reoccurring payments like fifty dollars each week. It makes a difference at the end of the year. No cap. But no, it definitely is. And for example, that's like a Roth IRA. Yeah. We'll definitely we'll talk about that on another show. We don't wanna we don't wanna put everything in one show. But um Roth IRA, you put in a little bit every time and it's gonna grow over time. It's compound interest. Money. Compound interest. That's literally that's, that's the way to financial too. freedom. Your money too. Yep. 
and you you decide what to do with it like when you put something in even if you want to be safe with like blue chip stocks blue yeah. chip stocks very safe you got the facebook you got apple you got google microsoft yeah, you see how the economy is exactly doing and just invest yeah like looking towards the future that's what right now yeah that's that's the thing the thing to get started this is why i tell everyone to ask me to get started because my portfolio right now is at thirty one thousand six hundred thirty two dollars quick little flex 33 dollars quick little flex quick little flex but it's fine it's fine yep, yep. Just to begin, I'm only 19. We're only, only 19. 19. You know Next what I mean? We're about to be at 60K on that portfolio. You best believe that. You nah, best believe nah, that. Nah, nah. With, with that's Bitcoin? Slight, bro. With Bitcoin? Stop sleeping on the team. I don't the know. Team. Oh, Stop sleeping on the team. That's a... I remember a year ago from now, we were in there with like $100 to our portfolio. Yeah. Now you're so, right. So like... You're right. I, I'm not really trying to put any doubt in the air because anything's really possible. Yeah. No, it is. It is. If you just... You just got to be patient. Patient is the biggest thing. This man put 50 into Dodge, bro. 50, in, 50 into Dogecoin. I did it with this kid. We we both I invested pulled, heavy I into pulled, Bitcoin. I pulled, I pulled. We both invested heavy into Bitcoin. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this Dogecoin? Yo. That's you, why I said, I go, I literally, seen it exactly where I go. It's just something wrong. I'm like, all right, I want to invest into mad shit. I want to invest in mad shit. Bro, so I was like, what the fuck the is Dogecoin? Street, I saw I it at point zero zero two. Right now. Dude, right now it's at 26 cents it was just at 40 something cents <laughs> yesterday or two days ago 0.0023 cents that's not even a full penny i have a full penny if Put I hit 50 the dollar, bucks 50 bucks in that i bought twenty two thousand and five hundred shares i'm serious like come Man's on breading. 50 bucks Man's i made 10 breading. grand like well my i didn't make it but like my portfolio hit 10 grand on dogecoin yep. after that for 50 bucks Man, was like, and it was just being patient hey but be be quick with it bro because mm-hmm. that's like the fat like the same speed it went up it's probably the same, same speed it's gonna go down you know what i mean but the thing is I've essentially been... it's a pump and dump yeah let's be real yeah like, dodge coin that doesn't have really any value behind it behind mm-hmm. besides the hype i don't know dude i think bro. the dallas mavericks are using dogecoin now yes bro because it's only it's only a matter of time everyone else Elon does Musk is tweeting about it, you think this is going to be, this is a very big question I want to ask you. You think Tesla starts accepting Dogecoin? No. You don't think <laughs> Absolutely. so? Absolutely. Not Dogecoin. Other coins, yes. They have Bitcoin but, already. Yeah, I know they have Bitcoin. But Elon is like a firm believer in Bitcoin. But Elon like made it clear that Doge is a mean coin. And he's like, don't invest all your money into it. He made, he you know he made bread off of it, though. Of course he did. Bro. You know he made so much money. I guarantee he's still in it. He makes bread off his tweets, bro. Let's yeah. be real. He makes bread off yeah. anything. But I think... I don't know. I I really like those coins. I, for example, like I've been in it since like since what probably under a year, probably about eight months. Let's yeah. say eight months. I've seen it do this multiple times. Like I I was up like fifty bucks yeah. in positive for like the longest time. All of a sudden, I look at my phone. I'm up five hundred. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Then like three months went by. Mm-hmm. Then I was up two k. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And then this just happened. Now, what's the next point? Does but- it hit a dollar? Yeah, you could look at it like that, but don't get caught up in FOMO, fear of missing out. Because like mm-hmm. you see all these people making this money, and then you go in with that winning mindset. Yeah, people like, want quick money. Oh yeah, I'm they want quick 50, money. About to get 10k, like bro, Dylan. No, yeah. it's not like that every trip. You yeah, feel what I mean, you could put in fifty dollars, lose a fifty real quick. Yeah. So like, be smart with what you invest in. Be. Th- this is like, probably do research. Yeah, right? exactly. And th- the biggest, ex- the biggest um advice I can give you, put in to whatever stock cryptocurrency that you're willing to lose yeah for don't put your home investment like life savings for say, say example say you make say you make a thousand dollars a week mm-hmm. if you put 250 mm-hmm. of that and I, I would do more but like say for beginners 250 of that into like investing yeah if you lose that 250 you're not gonna be poor yeah don't get me wrong like it's gonna hurt a little bit Quit, but like i don't like losing a dollar i'm a cheap guy right? yeah but like it's like for the outcome that could happen it's, it's just like, you're going to be financially free if you can if you can start investing into whatever it doesn't have to be the stock market it doesn't have to be mm-hmm. cryptocurrency we're big into real estate yeah real estate is going to be your thing no, i okay. think that's that's very positive something to be able to Grow invest on. in yeah, yeah it's just investing in general Dude, investing to yourself it's busting right now yeah it's so busting like you could live like retire low key if you buy like right now a tenement like a, oh real estate like three tenement house bro yeah you could that ass retire if you really wanted to and live like with the bare minimum but like mm-hmm. none of us want to do that obviously yeah we're trying to get them we'll, we'll talk about real estate another time 
come on. Let's I, feel, I feel I feel we, got, we like can't put everything in one. We got I know we just branch off, but we're gonna stick to stock talk right now. Heard you, heard you. But we'll definitely have we'll definitely have real estate coming up very soon because that's that's like that's what we want to do. No, that's no, what we no. want to do. We want to do real estate investing. I want to make and so does Christian Fall. Christian Fall wants to do the real estate investing too. Yep. We got mad people that want to do it. But the stock market, I think a lot of people are very shaky on the stock market. Personally, I think as long as you're smart with your money, you're going to have smart outcomes. The same people that are shaky on the stock market are the same people that walk into Foot Locker and drop 200 on yeah. Jordan. And, or they missed that out they, on something in the market. They, bro, exactly. And I see all these people make money and share all these mm-hmm. posts. While saying, they're gambling their money away yeah, for nothing. Imagine if you, or just do we think that's like 50-50. Imagine every scratch ticket you bought. I don't like. I don't know you personally because I don't know who's watching. But um, you bought the same amount of money you spent on the scratch ticket. Just invested in like an ETF, mm-hmm. an index fund, or something. Or even like sports betting. No, exactly. It's fifty fifty. Is he going to score? I mean, are they going to win? or Are they not going to win? Fifty mm-hmm. fifty chance. Like, like there's literally no education to it. I mean, um, there's a, don't get me. There's a little there's bit. So, there's a little bit. Not yeah. the scratch tickets or like um. Like casino or anything. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like like sports betting. Mm-hmm. If you know your sports and you're like I'm positive, but like anything can happen. Yeah. March Madness. That's anything literally a perfect also, example right there. You're betting on a lot of people that are human, just like you. Mm-hmm. You being human, I even think should know. Like stuff happens. People could get injured. The people that you're betting on the sports, like literally, could get corona. They could have an off game. Exactly. Have a bad game. So much stuff's happening that mm-hmm. cause. In a stock market, scenarios. it's it's you. It's yep. literally you. You it's decide you. what you put into it. You decide what, you, and you get what you get out of it. Don't get caught up on TikTok too much because there's a lot of TikTokers that post like all these trending stocks. And yeah, medicine. pumping them. Yeah, dude, Wall Street bets, GameStop, right there. Yeah, do your own research. Yeah, Always. absolutely. Because I and the another thing I want to definitely touch on is try to be very diverse with your stocks Bags. because if one thing goes down, no, and if that's all, all you have, bad, or like say. Exactly. That's a good, that's a good saying yeah. right there. Um, you're going to be screwed. You're going to be screwed. <laughs> you're done, though. If it goes down, for example, I'm in, I'm in over 50 stocks yep. between Facebook, between cannabis, EB, 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 <laughs> EB, Apple, blue chip stocks, Spirit Airlines, mm-hmm. other airlines, cruise lines, yep. um, so many different things that I'm in. And like for example, one of them, one of my stocks, UAVS. I'll touch on oh that. Oh my god! Don't talk about UAVS. I bought it at two twenty three. It went to like fourteen dollars. Yeah. I kept. I held. It now went, it's at five dollars. It went crazy for a second. Too. I know. I was Remember up. I was it, up over a K. No, but wasn't it that stock that was like two dollars on Robinhood? Did not know where it said it was never two dollars. No, that was JNUG. Oh yeah, yo, rest J-Nug. in peace, JNUG. Yeah, I was good with it, bro. I'm up, I'm still in, I'm still in that. That's an oil <laughs> How? company How? or a gold mining company. I'm because I don't sell, dude. I don't sell. Um, but for example, that UAVS, me and this kid, uh, and Luke Isaacson is in it too. Um, we've been taking some uh some pretty bad beatings from it. Yeah, but um, Buy more. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm about Buy to do. Because they're what they that are. They're bad. they're airline. No, uh, they're drone stock. Mm-hmm. And they build a headquarters right next to Amazon. If you can probably kind of put two and two together, if that's what they Amazon wants to do drones. Yo, Jeff Bezos gonna buy that up real mm-hmm. quick. If you really think it. Jeff Bezos isn't CEO anymore. Bro, you actually he stepped down. He wanted to. He went like, yo, I don't want to do this no more, so I'm gonna have someone do it for me because I'm just that rich. Yeah. That's he's probably he's he still did. in the he still makes He does whatever he wants. Yeah. Amazon is his. Let's yeah. be real. Yeah, you're right. But um yeah, I so I invested in. I was up a thousand dollars. I didn't sell, didn't sell. But now it's at five dollars. That's a gamble I took. But since I'm so diverse, it doesn't really change my portfolio that much. You know yep. what I mean? Like it, it definitely would have been nice to see it. But since mm-hmm. I'm so diverse, I'm not screwed. I put two fifty into it to make a thousand dollars or yeah. a possible thousand dollars. I'm staying in it. I'm gonna buy probably more. You doing your research on it? I, I need to do research on it, but I'm probably going to buy more. Right. I need, like, there's a few things I got to look at. I got to look into that he Amazon that deal. It, yeah. It's just like that gut feeling. You're going to nah. get gut feelings, too. Dude, this kid should just always go with his gut. It I hasn't know. really failed him yet. One thing, one thing that, no, one, you know what this failed me? Hmm. Blink. Blink. Oh, I bought it at a dollar seventy five. Yeah. But at this time, I was only getting paychecks. I, I work at a restaurant, so I get cash. Yep. But at this point, I was only making paychecks. So I only got paid once a week. My check didn't come in yet, and I've already invested all my money. 
So I only bought five shares of this stock. I wanted to buy a hundred at a dollar seventy five. So I would have had a hundred shares. Mm-hmm. Blink charging. You guys probably know what it is now. I went to fifty six dollars. I would have had fifty two fifty six hundred dollars. Yeah. Bro, I live with those like thoughts in my head all the time. Yeah. It's just like Which one well, you had a bad one. Bro, I had so many bad you ones. Had. <laughs> it's just like it's whatever. It's like Ethereum. Dude, I bought Ethereum when it was a hundred. Nah, I'll pull up the whole receipt. It, it was like a hundred and fifty dollars. I bought like two of them. Was it two? I remember. Two or two and a half. Yeah. It was. It was. Because we were a- putting bread in it. Because we were getting unemployment. Well, I was. He wasn't. Because he was an essential worker there at that time, right? Yeah, I was. I I worked in the restaurant. We were doing takeout. Yeah. And during since it was COVID, people were a lot more generous. So I was making, I, as as like a. 18 year old mm-hmm. i'm making a thousand dollars a week yeah that's 52 grand a year that's more than most and that's what i'm taking days. home that's what i'm taking home that's bef- that's after taxes yep. so like i'm making pretty good money then i was making bread off the unemployment but um i just kept buying stocks at it no cap i didn't really want to waste that money as soon as i got mm-hmm. it like most people did so i just put it in mm-hmm. try to make a quick flip yeah i did it but like if i just stayed in the positions i would have been way better off. yeah another big term that you need to learn is uh, short-term capital gains yeah if you sell a stock within a year you're gonna get taxed like 33 percent on it depend it depends on how much you there's like, a lot of things that depend on it but like on average about 33 there might be some loopholes yeah you're smart there might be it, some like, don't risk it yeah don't <laughs> risk it 33 percent compared to if you hold it for a year or over you can get paid you can get taxed 15 percent or even 0% mm-hmm. at times. Like, they won't even tax you Honestly, at all. Honestly, I'm trying to get to a point where I don't take money off my stocks portfolio. Mm-hmm. I just use that as collateral and get yeah. a, like, loan. And then every, every, every once well, in a while, you look at it. You look at it, and you're like, holy shit, I'm up two grand. Yeah, word. Like, this is cool. Cool. This and cool. it just made money for you. Slight bread. You might just made it for you. Because once, once you do put it in, you're probably not going to get it out. Yeah. Like, you're probably not going to take it out and probably use it to buy whatever it is. Like, mm-hmm. a... That you're gonna put it in, you're gonna take it out to buy, for example, shoes from Foot Locker or whatever. Yeah. Like you're not, that's probably not gonna happen. Once you put it in, you're probably not gonna see it again. But when you do see it again, when oh, you see it again, I'm telling you, boy. she's looking pretty. Yeah. She's gonna be looking pretty. Yep. When you see it again, she's gonna look fine. Like two thousand dollars plus fine in your account. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. You could just be rich. It's pretty easy to be rich. There's like a, the rules you follow in life. That like set you to get there, and I feel like if you have a good mindset, anybody could really be rich. It's not like damn, it's impossible. Yeah, you just gotta get your shit together. There's so you many ways cap. to make money. There's no so cap. many different side bro, hustles no you can cap. do. He, bro, me and Christian talked about this so much. He's not even on the camera. But yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be he'll be on again. He'll be on shortly. But dude, so many ways to make money. Go on TikTok, keep scrolling, fam. You'll find like ten ways. Just yeah, like that. definitely it's different side hustles. Follow the Embargo Show on TikTok. We're we doing a uh, rating side hustle. Yeah, follow. If we you do. ain't following. What are you doing? Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? We have um. I put up the first one is DoorDash. DoorDash. Most right? underrated side hustle you Brody's can possibly making save, bread. dude. We, yeah. We making bread and my friend Cam Savi over here. Cam Savi bread. That's what he does. Chasing. This is what he does. Um. No, but DoorDash. I give it an eight point four rating just because you can do it whenever you want. You can stop whenever you. Pretty much your own boss. Yep. By the end of it, mm-hmm. and it's more flexible than yeah. any other job. Like I, I for like example, you really want to work. Yeah, exactly. For example, for me. I do one on my way to the gym. Do yeah. one on my, that brings me to the gym. Do one that brings me back home. That's fifteen bucks right there. Yeah, you can make. I'm. I make sometimes. I'll make fifteen an hour, but sometimes the other night, the night, other night was busy as shit. I made like forty an hour. Jeez. So how many hours you put in? Four. Oh, okay. Okay. I make like twenty an hour on average. Yeah, on average about twenty an hour, but for minimum wage in Massachusetts. Thanks. I used to make like 11 an hour and now I make 20. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. 13, 13, 50. Like, don't and get me wrong. You're going to get better. Let's be real. Yeah, really. Let's because be real. Summer, you know how it is. Yeah. Everybody orders food. And literally, the second it rains, if you do it when it rains, oh my, if you're going to have nothing else to do, when it rains, if you have nothing to do, DoorDash. Like, I promise you, you're going to get so much money that way. And if you live in the snowy state, you already know. When it snows, same thing. Be same exact thing. Just be careful. Be safe. I got into. An accident. Oh, me too. Hashtag accident. Hey. <laughs> but um, no, it's definitely um, it's definitely a great side hustle to get into. Yep. But we're gonna be this. We're not even talking about stocks. But it's fine. It's fine. We talking about making money. That's more important than stocks. Yeah. That's we're, one stream. Of we'll help. We'll help you make money. What about all of them. Yep. And then the next the next side hustle that we're gonna rate next is um, you'll join me on this. You want to join me on this one? Mm. Facebook Marketplace. 
Oh, flipping on that. I'm trying to flip some cars. That's going to be cars. I'm trying to flip. We can do that. We'll, we'll test it out. Put in the comments whatever you want us to test out, and we'll try it on and we'll Yo, post we'll it on TikTok. Follow the hustles. TikTok. We'll test your side hustles. No cap. Yeah. Comment and we'll test them. We'll make a whole TikTok too. I'll be busting. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some fun, but definitely stock market, invest at your own risk. Yeah. And don't, you're going to have some red days. Everybody mm-hmm. does. Don't panic. Don't sell. Don't panic. Yes, please don't if panic. If you sell, you literally just lost their money. Mm-hmm. Like, so if many people, sit, yeah. If you're sitting there, you really didn't lose anything. It's just yep. some numbers that are red. Let's yeah. be real. They could go up tomorrow, the next week, the next month. The it next year. Matter. Next year. Just patience. patience. Patience is so key. Yeah, I know I know. at our age, I don't know who's watching, but I know a lot of people my age is going to be and our age is going to be watching it. Yep. At our age, like once you see a little money, you want it. Yeah, facts. You want it. And facts. that's that's completely normal. But be patient. I promise you. My portfolio from being patient, I haven't sold anything. It's thirty two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Am I for not being patient? It's like two K. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You see, you see and I've put in my my portfolio is thirty two thousand dollars. I put in eleven thousand and five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I've made Dread. twenty grand. Like Dread. come on. Yep. Be patient. Please be patient. But We'll definitely have to, we'll definitely bring you on more. We'll talk about more side hustles yeah, next time. Talk sure. about real estate. Definitely yeah, want to talk about real estate. Talk about real estate. Yeah, it's absolutely. Sure. But thank you for tuning in. Yep. That was episode one of Stock Talk, Stock the Embargo Talk. Show. Yep. Thank you, Marcio. Thank you, brother. Appreciate like, it. Like, subscribe, do all that. Follow us. Come in with more thank stuff. Thank you. And definitely definitely watch the TikTok because we're going to be posting some yep. very good content. Two, and some two videos a day. Out. Some fire shirts coming, coming out. out too. And I, like, nah, I'm telling you, these kids been working hard on these shirts. I came in, they were still working on these shirts. I was, some of them even got injured making their shirts. No I don't know if you want to show your finger. Yeah, yeah. No cap. Show your finger, look at the finger. You got that bandit on her. Yeah. Injuries happen for things I need to be. Yeah, but we're getting, we're getting money. Hey, but for, for the shirts, we're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be giving away five shirts. So definitely stay tuned. Follow the TikTok, follow the Instagram and stay tuned. Five shirts I'm going to be giving away for free. Free. I'll ship it to you. I know you guys like free stuff. How can you not? Yep. But thank you for tuning in. That was the Embargo Show.